back to my channel. So this is build video number one of the F4 Phantom G. Uh, Ravel's F4 Phantom G in 136. Go. Um, I know that there are some other videos out there. This is just going to be, you know, as always, this is going to be my little journey through through this build and uh, just sharing it with you guys and pointing out little things that I find and so forth. And I apologize for shaking the screen. So a uh, couple things I did find at the outset. I did want to at least point them out. So first thing, um, step one is, so step one is actually page one, which is the build of the cockpit. Um, the first two major steps I'm going to bypass because I'm going to cheat. I picked up these, the uh, um, Quick Boost, um, Quick Boost, uh, the, 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 the ejection seats, that's a word, thank you very much. Mouth isn't going to work. Um, mainly because I wanted to try them. And, you know, I was, you know, fiddling around with concepts, etc., etc., blah, blah, blah. You, know, you get the idea. I wanted to. So, there we go. So, I did. And I wanted to at least show these so that folks who, if they're interested, you know, um, I don't think that it's necessary often or always to go pick up aftermarket parts unless you really want to. Um, you can make a kit look and you can make a product look as well as you want, depending on how much effort and, and so forth you want to put into building it. But let's take a quick look at the... Um, the actual kit pieces, and you will have to. I will have to apologize momentarily while I dig for them, because I had them laid out, and then of course I buried them while I was looking for this. So here we go. So yeah. So here are the kit parts. Now, as you can see, there are seat belts on them and you have your ejection bars now you look here you have pretty much the same thing so do i use these or do i replace them with those i don't know i'm, I'm kind of liking the way those are looking okay um but then you also look at you know your sides of your ejection seat and they're they've got some detail but arguably that detail is better right so it, it's really what you want and how you want to make it look. So I, it is my opinion, for what it's worth, that this kit, that, this, that the kit parts are, are adequate and perfectly fine for, for what you want. But I wanted to try these. So, and if you look, these have rivet detail. Um, the seat belts are a little bit nicer. They are... Um, molded in, so you're going to have to paint them in. So I recommend doing all this painting before you mount them, which you know you can because you slide them in last. Um, so those are the seats. Um, you know, if you look at the top, you see what your top looks like as compared to the top part you have over here. All right, so there you go. So that's what you're looking at. So that's step one. I, I went ahead and did this. Um, I did also get one other, one, one other uh, aftermarket part, and it was the Phantom II intake covers. Um, and this is, you know, I plan to display this sitting. And, you know, I can go ahead and show you what they look like. I mean, they're, they're intake covers. It's really hard to mess those up. They've got some... The correct detail, at least from what I understand. So these should go on, and they it may actually look fairly well. But that's what I'm looking for. So what we had is a so what this thing has as a uh, uh, for static, right? Um, you know, I, I'm not going to have pilots in there. So these these seats, it's it's kind of nice to have the detail seats and to have those in there and and have them looking the way they do. So that's what I'm going to go with. So I'm going to skip those. Great. Okay. You got it. I don't have to belabor the point. Now, the other thing I want to 
mission. And I sort of mentioned this in the unboxing, but um, only sort of, is pay attention to the number callouts. So this is for the Phantom F4G. Um, note your part numbers, 270 and 271. Now, when you go looking, you know, at first glance, hey, there we go. There's our cockpit pieces. Um, no, no, they're not. <laughs> so you will note this is part 254 and 255. And just because I was nibby and wanted to look, 254 and 255 are not listed in in the parts callouts. So what they are, apparently, I'm guessing, I assume, is that these are earlier versions. This is the model is the F4G. And from what I understand, the F4G, the difference is in the nose section and a couple other other changes. So, you know, for the most part, the the model and the major pieces of the model are all the same. You could have different different pieces. So 270 and 271 are these guys. Okay? So, um, and, you know, you can also see the detail in this, in, the, in what these are. So I wanted to show these off. I did not get aftermarket cockpit pieces. I didn't feel photo etch was necessary. Um, I'm going to paint these guys up as is. The other thing I'm wondering about is, so... 250, 51, 2, and 3. So that's these guys. So these are the cockpit instrument panels that go on the side parts of the tub. Now I did see in one other one of these things somewhere, I believe, I saw other versions, or I saw another, yeah, another set. Here we go. And these are 185, 83, 86, and 84. So 183 to 186. So it looks like what we have are the modern version and an older style. So pay attention. Um, now, to be honest, these pieces, um, your main forward cockpit parts, are are visually different so the the assembly is different you know the assembly and the 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 you know the look of it is is different the these parts that's getting very rivet countery um and probably more rivet countery than than um then I care to go. So I'm not worried about those. I will use the ones that are here. And, you know, I will do the G, the G cockpit build. But, you know, that's, that's pretty much how I'm going to handle that. Um, the other thing I did do is picked up some aftermarket um, uh, decals. So, and this is where I'm going to drive actual rivet counters out of the gourd. Because I like the, the paint scheme of... Uh, the late war Vietnam era models. So the, the camo, the green camo and so forth. I like that paint scheme. So I'm probably going to do that. Um, I picked up a night owls set and I'll put a picture of it up here. Okay. So, um, yeah, the, the night owl decal set is the, the set that I'm going to use and the color scheme I'm going to run with, which I know is not in a 4G. So this is where, again, I'm not a rivet counter. I get it. I understand. Um, doing some research was fun, so I've learned some more about the F4. Um, but when I have the, the plane sitting here, I, I want to see that paint scheme, and I'm not willing to go spend the money to go buy another model kit for the minor cosmetic differences. It won't bother me. So um, with that said, um, here are, you know, this is where I am now. This is what I have ahead of me. Um, we will be going forward. I'm going to go ahead and get started on this. 
And my next video, I should have the cockpit tub done, painted up and ready. Um, and then go on. So I will see you again in my next video, whether it's this or a different project. But, you know, for this project series, this is video one of the Revell Phantom F4G. Um, it's a really cool plane. You know, there's a lot of de there's a lot of very interesting history about this this aircraft. Um, and you know, I'm not gonna you know blame the plane because there's a billion videos and a bunch of information out there. So go ahead and check it out. So this is my build. This is where I'm going. Uh, I hope you enjoy following along. If you do, and uh, I will talk to you next time. Again, I I hope everybody has a you know finds my my builds to be somewhat inspirational and you know decide to hey if you want to try something. Just go for it. Give it a run. Thanks very much. And again, really this time, talk to you.